In fact, the CSR was gaslighting me all throughout our conversation that it was my fault, it was my fault. Sino kayang VIP binigyan nila ng seats ko? Alam mo, yun yung pumasok sa isip ko eh. Because how can that seat suddenly be gone eh? Hi guys, welcome back. So we just came back from Tokyo. It was it was a great it was a great short trip. Um, we stayed there for four days. But what wasn't great was my experience before flying out with Cebu Pacific. No, it has nothing to do with the flight. It has nothing to do with the airline per se. My problem was I was gaslighted by the CSR agent before we flew out. This has nothing to do if you're a budget airline or not. This is just purely a bad CSR. You know, you, you don't gaslight your customers. You just don't. You just don't. If you need to, you, you investigate further. Pero, so, back in, uh, so the story starts way back in June. Remember, it's, it's, uh, it's mid-October now. Um, our flight was just last week to from Tokyo. Way back in June, I purchased a ticket for me and the wife. We were going to Tokyo, and um, knowing pure well how how all these budget airlines work, because we actually fly at least twice or three times a year using Cebu Pacific. I have no issues with the budget airline. I'm very grateful. I'm actually very thankful that. There, there is Cebu Pacific and the other budget airline because it gets people chance to travel at an affordable price and and I'm always thankful for that. Yun yung mga dati, when we were younger, it was harder for us to travel but when there was a budget airline now, everybody's... Makikita mo naman eh, people have more access to travel now and that's really good, that's really good. So... Well, you just have to know if you're booking a travel, a budget airline, what are, what are the limitations? For one, um, there's no food. There's no food. So either you want to buy from, from them during the flight or eat before. That's your concern. Second, usually the price doesn't come with luggages, so you have to pre-purchase the luggage. And third, the seats are not as comfortable because for one, they don't recline and there's not much leg room. So, knowing all this, we pre-purchased our luggage, we paid extra preferred seats. We paid something like 2,800 yata for our preferred seat. And my preferred seat is always row one, kasi it has the most leg room. Ang maganda pa, syempre may priority boarding ka and, and exiting because you're in the, in the front of the row. So, so, I purchased the ticket, nandun pa sa itinerary namin, what my seat assignment was, it was 1G and 1H. For the return flight, I bought the same one, 1G and 1H. Parehong, ano, parehong, parehong, parehong setup. I bought the 1G and I bought the 1H. Okay, so, two days before the flight, I got the email na, you are now allowed to check in. So, I clicked the link to check in. Unfortunately, the link on the email didn't work. So, sabi ko, okay, so I have to go through uh, mo dito, the, the manual log into Cebu Pacific and do that. So, I logged in, uh, check your booking, and then go check in. Tapos, within the website pa, so sabihin, okay, do you want to check in? You have to move to the new website. So, so okay, so okay lang ako na okay. So, I go check in. During the check in, some of the information that I have is already there kasi nga, nag check nag uh, nag ano na ako eh, nag nag log in na ako so my passport all my details are there even sa wife ko for surprisingly was already there because i think we always travel together so her information is already there tapos there was just an added question to please input the details of your Japan visa so which we did we input 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 after that so check in click the check in biglang nag error sabi we cannot check you in because you have a balance Unpaid balance. Tapos sabi ko, alam ko fully paid na ako nung June pa lang eh. I was fully paid already by June. So sabi ko, ano kaya to? Sabi ko, baka naman, baka naman uh, si, tag mo dito, si SMC. Do you remember? October 1, 
nag-privatize na ang airport so baka nag-charge na sila na extra so yun yung muna pumasok sa isip ko they sent me also a breakdown of fare sabi ko it wasn't very clear ano yung mga bagong charges except may nakita ko parang spoilage pero hindi ko pinansin kung ano yun sabi ko 650 I don't wanna stress myself out I had no choice eh parang bayaran mo na para maka-check in na so I paid the 650 so I checked in so sabi ko nung nag-check in ako bakit bakit yung seat ko row 32 bakit hindi row 1? Row 1 ang binili ko, di ba? 1G and 1H. So, nagulat ako, bakit nasa 32, row 32 na ako, hindi yung row 1 na binili ko, preferred seat. So, I, I, I message, uh, uh, I message Cebu Pacific. The only way for me to get in touch with Cebu Pacific was through, uh, I think, Facebook Messenger. So, I finally got to talk to someone na hindi AI. It was a real person who was talking to me. So, I asked, ano nangyari? Bakit naging row 32 ako? She told me, sir, kasi from our system, I don't know what system she was looking at or he was looking at, you you modified your booking and chose row 32. Sabi ko, that doesn't make any sense. I paid for a preferred seat, which is row one, and you're telling me I chose 32 upon check-in, so I abandoned my row one. Sabi ko, can you show me how is that possible? Because when I was checking in, I don't even remember having an option to change seats. Much more an option to just abandon my seat. Di ba sabi niya, sir? Kasi based on our system, you modified your booking. Sabi ko. Even when I check, when I modify your booking, wala ako nakikitang option to change seats or even to get rid of my row one because that doesn't make any sense, di ba? So she keep, she or he kept insisting na, na you modified your booking kasi you modified your booking kaya nawala yung seats mo. So may penalty. So sabi ko, okay, pero bakit, bakit kung yung penalty change seat is 100 usually bakit 650 to ano pa ba yung mga ano sabi sir kasi basta nag change seat ka may penalty sabi ko okay can you, can you can you can you break it down to me kasi based on my records here ang dami yung yung 650 chinarge sa iba ibang iba ibang headers eh hindi lang yung one header na penalty you charge it may spoilage merong parang service tapos pati doon sa premium seat ko you even charge me more How can you charge me more when if if for some reason I gave up a premium seat? Di ba dapat rebate? No? Pero sige, besides the point. Okay, so argue, argue, argue hanggang sa sabi niya, sir, wala talaga kami magagawa. So sabi ko, sige, is there a screenshot on saan yung naklik kong mali na na-change ko yung seat? Because... I want to know so that I don't commit the same mistake next time I'm checking in. Sabi niya, sir, wala akong mabigay na screenshot eh. Di ba? Basta kayo nag-modify kasi ng, ng ticket nyo, ng itinerary nyo. So sabi niya, sir, when I started prodding talaga na, can you show me saan? Can you explain to me how, how I did it? So sabi niya, sir, ganito na lang. I'll move you to row 2. But you have to pay 100. Alam mo yung nasa, ang gulong-gulo na yung utak ko. I was, I was, na tipong hindi ko na rin naisip na dapat hindi nga ako umuo eh. Kasi row 2, though it's in the front, is no different than the other rows because masikip pa rin yung harap. Yun naman yung point ko for a preferred seat eh. Yung leg room eh. Not where I'm positioned eh, but my leg room eh. So okay. Napauo ako. Sige. Sige. Can you, can you change my booking? Tapos I'll pay for it. Tapos sabi niya, Okay, now I'm asking you, can you confirm that you want to change seat? So this is the only time now I'm really confirming that I want to change seat. Ah. Pero yung from row 1 to 32, I never consented to that. Ah. Grabe talagang. Okay, so umuo na ako, they changed my seat to row 2. Okay, so 750. Dahil kasalanan ko daw, I now 
have to pay the 750 penalty for changing seat and for me to be brought back to a preferred seat even though that's not my preferred seat. I even made a, a post in my Facebook about bakit nagkaganto yung mga charges ang gulo-gulo. And someone I know who has sort of a contact with Cebu Pacific found someone for me to email. So I emailed and I told I told in my email na I'm very sure I did not amend my ticket nor modify it or change anything. Pero bakit ako napunta sa row 32? And now for me to get back to row 1, a uh, row 2, I I ended up paying 750. So I'm yeah, okay, thank you. Uh, we apologize for what happened. Let me look into it, but I will refund you the 750. Okay, so thank you. Thank you for refunding me my 750. Even though I didn't really do anything wrong, but thank you. I appreciate the gesture and thank you for the help. So we were able to check in. So on the day of our flight, when we got to the airport, out of love blue, I just wanted to ask because deep inside, alam mo yung feeling ko, sino kayang VIP binigyan nila ng seats ko? Alam mo yun yung pumasok sa isip ko eh. Because how can that seat suddenly be gone eh? So feeling ko talaga, baka naman some VIP wanted that seat and they had to find a way to give them a row one seat. Because that, those two seats are the best seats in the house. Solo na sa harap, dalawa lang kayo. Here's a picture of us dun sa pauwi na flight. This is the seat that we reserve papunta. So, yun yung, yun yung sabi ko, titingnan ko nga sino nakaupo dun sa 1G tsaka sa 1H. So, I asked pa nga in joking lead doon sa tao, ano kaya nangyari sa seat namin? Sino kayang VIP ang nakakuha ng seat namin? Kasi biglang nawala. So, sabi niya, sir, let me check ha, kung ano ba nangyari. And ganun, ganun. So, chine-check niya. Ah, sir, kasi nagpalit tayo ng plane. Originally, it was a big bird. Now, it's a small bird. That's the term he used. So, sabi ko, oh, oh. so the small bird is an A320 and I think the big bird is an A330. So, the A330, the original plane, when they were selling the tickets, was row A to H. The small bird, which is an A320, was A to F. So, nawala yung G and H. Hindi siya yung tipong napamigay. That whole column was gone. There was no G, there was no H. Sabi ko, okay, that made a lot of sense. Pero bakit ikaw alam mo, yung CSR hindi. In fact, the CSR was gaslighting me all throughout our conversation that it was my fault, it was my fault. When obviously, kayo nagpalit nung plane. Kaya nawala yung upuan ko. Hindi ako. I know I'm a go, but I'm not the go kong way go for me to be able to say, let's change the plane. I want a small bird, not a big bird. So that becomes my fault. Kasi ako nagpapalit ng plane. I'm not that family. I'm not that rich go. <laughs> hindi ko kaya magpapalit ng plane. So hindi ko alam bakit naging kasalanan ko na nawala yung seat ko. Tapos ako pa daw ang pumili ng row 32 from row 1. God, the amount of gaslighting I got from that conversation was grabe. That CSR needs to really learn how, how to talk to customers. For one, if, if for some reason, the information that the change of plane was there, uh, wasn't there, uh, whatever system he was right, he was looking at, he, he or she should have investigated further because it's just not logical for a person who paid for preferred seat to give it up to change to a non-preferred seat. It doesn't make sense, di ba? It's just not logical. Tapos kaya nga, sinabi ko pa, how is it possible for you to actually do it even if you wanted to, to change seat? What is the, what is, ano yung napindot mo, ano yung mapipindot mo para sabihin mo na pwede? Pero yun, hindi rin ma-explain ng CSR. Pero, you know, I, I'm not mad at Cebu Pacific for changing the plane. That's unavoidable and I understand that. That happens. Hindi nila napuno yung seat. Okay, change plane. 
but you have to let the customer know. I never got any email. I never got any SMS. I never got anything that's telling me that the, the, the plane is now shifting to a smaller plane and we have to reassign you to another seat because that seat no longer applies to this plane. This has already happened to me in other airlines. Cebu Pacific, uh, no, not Cebu Pacific, uh, with PAL, with CX, they've changed plane and we were actually told in advance. Means nga, they, if they cancel a flight, uh, we would also get a message na ganon. Even with C CX, that the flight was changed, they even offered us free miles for that situation. Hindi ko kasalanan, kasalanan nila, and they offer a remedy, which was, we really uh, apologize for what happened, here's, here's 10,000 miles. Our whole team, our, our whole group of five got take 10,000. So, okay, thank you, diba? Ito naman, nagpalit na ng plane na wala na upuan ko, yung CSR started blaming me pa. Rather than offering me a compensation for what happened, I got gaslit to say it was my mistake. The complete opposite of what should have been done. Diba? Paano ka hindi maiinis? Alam mo, buti na lang the, the, the person in, in the airport was very nice. Kaya kahit pa paano, hindi, hindi ka sasama talaga ang loob. So I, I guess the person in the airport got better training when it comes to handling customer and how. Kasi face to face eh. So mas marunong sila mag-handle ng customer. Itong sa online nila, sa tingin ko, hindi nag-training o walang pake because he was just, he or she was just typing it away. I, I really hope that they get to train those, those people more, better. Kasi nagiging, nagiging kasalanan tuloy nitong airline yung, yung problema ng isang CSR niya. And like I said, I have nothing against Cebu Pacific. I have a problem with that CSR agent. Hi, nako. I'm really sorry for doing another rant. But uh, I hope you guys don't experience that kasi sama talaga nagagaslit ka. Okay, so thank you very much. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please do so. By the way, I have a lot of videos from this Tokyo trip. So abang-abang lang. It's it, it was a nice it was a nice trip. So marami kaming video na nagawa. I think I have 3 videos that are being produced now. Bye.